have a very wide variety of vehicles and capabilities. We have a global program where we have three vehicles around the world. We're actually developing more. They all have the same uh, capabilities, so we're able to test things at different locations. We can develop all over the world, plus add all these features and test all over the world. The sensors, the hardware are all the same, so it adds a very nice, cohesive program. Six cameras for surround view and one camera for forward view for object detection. We use the GPS for waypoint navigation, like in open areas. So if it's not rich of features like trees or other buildings, so the LiDAR can detect those. We depend mainly on the GPS. If we are in GPS denied environment, we depend on the LiDAR to do a mapping for the environment and do navigate autonomously. We put in the tablet for two reasons. The first, obvious reason is to, to control everything in the car, to control the autonomous driving and other ADAS functions. And the second reason is to display sensor data and camera data to customers or other persons that yeah, want to get to know the vehicle and as well to feel better while driving autonomous and um, yeah, to make it an all in all good experience to drive the car. We implemented the ultrasound to do a close object detection. It has a range from 20 centimeters to 1.5 meter. So we can navigate through uh, gates, um, we can do autonomous parking, and also we can do a bulk assist with the ultrasound sensor. For the cameras, we have object detection for cars, um, traffic signs, traffic lights. And we use this data for apply like a brake for emergency braking or for autonomous braking. We've developed from the ground up, so with FEV you get the whole package. 